Hello class, my name is Melvin Hortman and I want to welcome you to Introduction to Computer-Aided Design, that's CAD. What we're going to be learning in this class is how to produce production-ready drawings. These are drawings that you'll find in the civil engineering world, structural engineering, architecture, and manufacturing. Okay, production-ready means they're ready to go out to the field. These drawings that you produce, that you learn to produce, will be ready to go out to the people who will make those designs a possibility. What we'll also be doing is learning how to collaborate in cloud-based collaboration software. We're going to be working together virtually on drawings and drawing revisions. And we'll, and we'll also be learning some productivity tools to help you to learn how to work through drawings faster, more efficiently. Because when you get out to the field, your em employers are going to want not only quality drawings from you, but prompt drawings from you. If you look to the left of my screen, you'll see an example of a civil engineering set. In Tumwater, about a decade ago, there was a redesign of a neighborhood. The roads were redone, the sidewalks were, re were redone, the property lines were re-evaluated, there were drainage systems that were put in, and you can see those in this set of drawings. It's about 34 pages. You not only see plan views of the neighborhood and of specific sections showing the specific grades, but you'll see details. You'll not only see lines and polygonal shapes, rectangles, arcs, and curves, but you'll see notes and numbers. These notes and numbers are dimensions and annotations and notes to the field workers to have the knowledge of how to put this all together. On the right side, you'll see an example structural set. This is the concrete plans for a parking garage. Parking garage is obviously a heck of a lot of concrete. So um, companies need to hire a specific con concrete contractor, and this is what they produce, these concrete plans that have lots of lines, lots of curves, not only plan views, but elevation views, which are the cut away views that you see showing how all the different concrete components come together and at each section what it needs to look like. One of the most important things you're going to need to navigate this course is a deep knowledge of how to move around in Canvas. If you've made it to this home page, you're doing pretty well for yourself already. But there's a couple more things that we need to know. For example, if you look on the home page, you'll not only see this video, but a description of this course and a sentence saying that most of our navigation is going to be through the course navigation menu. And also, most of that will be through the Canvas modules. The course navigation menu you can find on the left side of your screen. You'll see modules, grades, sil syllabus, RTC support syllabus, course evaluations, and outcomes. The modules, that's our course map. That's going to show week by week the play-by-play -play of what we're doing each week in, in class. It's going to show us exactly what we're doing and what we need to do to successfully complete each module. You'll see for week one, there's things to view. There's days to view them. There's, there's dates when things are due, like this concept check and this practice are due on April 15th. And with the concept check, you need to score at least a, a 4.0 on this, on this concept check in order to successfully complete this module. There's a quiz at the end of the week on April 17th. All this information is here in the course modules. This is our roadmap to completing the course. You'll see this not just for week one, but for the entire quarter, week three, week four, and on and on and on. Aside from the course modules, you'll need to be able to access your grades. Your grades are all laid out when you go to the grades section. And the syllabus gives a detailed description of everything you need to know to be successful in this Introduction to Computer-Aided Design course. How are we going to communicate with each other? One of the main ways is going to be through the Home tab. On the home at the top of the screen, you'll see our most recent uh, announcements. I'll also be communicating with you individually 
through your Canvas inbox, which is to the left of the course navigation menu. In your, in, in your inbox, you'll find an email from me or a message from me that I'd like you to respond to as soon as possible just to make contact so that we can have contact. Through, through your inbox, I'm going to be checking up on you, seeing how you're doing. If some assignments are falling by the wayside, I will email you to see what's going on and see how I can help you. Through our inbox, I'll also be setting up virtual meetings for us to meet face to face just like this. Even though we are doing online instruction, that doesn't mean we can't see each other face to face and talk. If you're having any troubles with navigating the, le the lessons or going through the demonstrations that we'll go through in this class, we can have a virtual meeting and I can actually come in and help you on your personal computer. I can take control of your computer and help you out in any way that you need to give the, to give the impression that we're actually in class together. So without further ado, let's get started with learning this incredible thing called CAT.